tutorials, SP Gubi online classes for NCIT and CBSE 10th standard and 9th standard. So we are ha very happy once again to meet you here. So in the previous session of mathematics regarding polynomials, we have covered the value of a polynomial and zero of a polynomial. So in this session, we will be going with the conceptual problems, very simple important problems on value of a polynomial. So at this point, let us recall the definition of the value of a polynomial. So here, if p of x is a polynomial, just imagine what I am telling you here, if p of x is a polynomial and k is any real number, any real number, any real number in the sense, it may be a natural number, whole number or an integer or a rational number, right? or an irrational number, whatever it is, right? So, if P of X is a polynomial and K is a real number, then by replacing X by K in P of X, so in P of X you will be having, P of X is equal to some polynomial B you will be having, in that polynomial you will be having X as the variable. So, where, wherever X is there, we are going to replace that X by the real number k then it becomes the polynomial in k that is the polynomial in k for x is equal to k so this is called the value of the polynomial so once again if p of x is a polynomial and k is any real number then by replacing x by k the value so obtained will be p of k where x is equal to k so this is the definition for the value of a polynomial. So very simple conceptual problems we are going to solve in today's session. Right. So here find the value of the polynomial 5x minus 4x square plus 3. So this is a polynomial and we are well aware of the definition of a polynomial. Uh, a polynomials the variable the variable should have non-negative integral exponents that's the uh, definition of a polynomial. So here you can see x has 2 as the whole number as the power and x has 1 as the power here. So it is non-negative integral exponents. So it's a polynomial. So here find the value of this polynomial at x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0 find the value of this and when x is equal to minus 1 find the value of this polynomial and x is equal to 2 find the value of this polynomial. So this is for one more compulsory you are going to get in your examinations. So, let P of X is equal to 5X minus 4X square plus 3. So, this is the given polynomial. So, here the polynomial or let us do this. The value of P of X when x is equal to 0. So we have to find the value of this polynomial when x is equal to 0. So I am finding that the value of p of x when x is equal to 0 is p of 0. So therefore p of x is equal to write down the polynomial 5x minus 4x square plus 3. So put x is equal to 0 because we have to find the value of the polynomial when x is equal to 0. So therefore instead of x substitute 0. So therefore p of 0 is equal to 5 into we have x here so replace this x by 0 the real number minus 4 into again replace this x by 0 here put the square whatever it is there plus this 3 ok so p of 0 is equal to 5 into 0 is 0 minus 0 square is 0 minus 4 into 0 is 0 and remaining is plus 3 so p of 0 is equal to 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 plus 3 is it is 3. So the value of the polynomial p of x, the value of the polynomial p of x when x is equal to 0 is 3. This is how you have to define it, right? Okay. Let us get into the second one. This is the first one we have got the answer. Let us get into the second one. So p of x is equal to 5x minus 4x square plus 3 is the given polynomial. The value of, you have to write this, the value of p of x when x 
is equal to what is the value of x we have to substitute here that is minus 1 is p of minus 1 so that is the definition so therefore we write the polynomial p of x is equal to 5x square minus 4x square plus 3 this is the given polynomial so instead of x we have to substitute minus 1 so we will substitute minus 1 here so wherever there is x in the polynomial we have to replace that x by minus 1 so 5 into minus 1 whole square sorry it does not have ok it does not have square sorry for this ok minus 4 into x square so x should be replaced by minus 1 so minus 1 whole square plus 3 so p of minus 1 is equal to 5 into minus 1 so 5 has plus here so plus into minus is minus 5 1 side is 5 so minus 1 whole square you have to be very careful minus 1 whole square can written as minus 1 whole square can written as minus 1 into minus 1 so minus 1 whole square is minus into minus is plus 1 into 1 is 1 so minus 1 whole square is minus 4 into minus 1 whole square is 1 we replace that by plus 3 ok so p of minus 1 is equal to minus 5 minus into 1 has plus here so minus into plus is minus 4 ones of 4 first before multiplying the numbers you have to multiply the signs first and then you have to multiply the numbers plus 3 is remain ok so p of minus 1 is equal to so at this situation you have to add those numbers which are having the same sign so here 5 and 4 has both minus sign so if two numbers have the same sign you have to add it so 5 plus 4 is 9 both have minus sign put it plus 3 ok so p of minus 1 is equal to it is minus 9 plus 3 this number has plus sign and this number has minus sign two different signs are there so therefore you have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and 9 minus 3 is 6 and put the sign of the bigger number that is minus 6 so p of minus uh, 1 is minus 6 so therefore the value of the polynomial p of x 5x minus 6 4x square plus 3 when x is equal to minus 1 when x is equal to minus 1 is minus 6 when x is equal to minus 1 the value of the polynomial is minus 6 right so we will go to the third prop, third one so here let us write the polynomial p of x is equal to 5x minus 4x square plus 3 is the given polynomial now again we have to find the value of this polynomial when x is equal to 2 so <coughs> value of polynomial or value of p of x when x is equal to 2 is that is p of 2 right so very important very very important ok let us write the polynomial p of x is equal to 5x minus 4x square plus 3 so p of instead of x we have to replace 2 so we replace this so p of 2 is equal to 5 into x is should be replaced by 2 ok minus 4 into x should be replaced by 2 right 2 and don't forget to put this square plus 3 ok so p of 2 is equal to 5 2 side is 10 2 square is 4 so minus 4 into 2 square is 4 plus 3 so p of 2 is equal to 10 so here 4 has plus sign so minus into plus is minus 4 4 side is 16 plus 3 so p of 2 is equal to ok so 10 has plus sign and 3 has plus sign add these two that is 10 plus 3 is 13 13 that is 13 minus 16 so p of 2 is equal to two numbers are different signs 16 has minus sign 13 has plus sign so what is to be done you have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number that is 16 minus 13 is 3 which number has the which which is the biggest number 16 what sign it has minus so therefore it is minus 3 so this is the value of the polynomial that is the value of the polynomial is minus 3 when x is equal to 2 so this is one mark question which can be asked in your multiple choice or fill in the blanks whatever it is right
will get into some more problems very important find p of 0 p of 1 and p of 2 and p of 2 for each of the following polynomials for each of the following polynomials right ok let us get into the first question p of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1 ok this is the given question here so we have to go with this now we have to find p of 0 we have to find p of 1 and p of 2 for each of the following polynomials so one type of polynomial three polynomials four are given I have out of four I have taken the first polynomial here so let us get into the solution so now <coughs> value of p of y when x is equal to 0 that's all y is equal to 0 because the variable used is y in this polynomial so therefore value of p of y when y is equal to 0 is p of 0 is p of 0 so this statement you have to write before starting the problem right so write on the polynomial so p of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1 so he is asking you to find out p of uh, 0 so instead of uh, y replace that by 0 so p of 0 is equal to wherever there is y replace that by 0 so that becomes 0 square minus 0 plus 1 so p of 0 is equal to 0 square is 0 minus 0 plus 1 so therefore p of 0 is 0 minus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 again so this p of 0 is one. So very important, right? So when let us get into p of one. So value of let us take it as two. Let us take it as one. Okay. So value of p of y when when we have to take p of one. So we have to replace uh, y by one. So the value of p of y when when y is equal to one is p of one. So therefore, write the polynomial. So p of y is equal to y square plus, sorry, y square minus y plus 1. So p of, instead of this y, we have to substitute 1. Okay, we will do this. So after, instead of y, you have to substitute 1. That is 1 square minus, instead of y, again 1, 1 plus 1. So p of 1 is equal to, 1 square is 1. That is 1 into 1. The same thing, 1 minus it has plus here minus into plus 1 is minus 1 and plus 1 so p of 1 is equal to so here minus 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled so remaining thing is 1 so the value of the polynomial p of y when y is equal to 1 is 1 right so we are going to the third problem so we have to find out uh, p of 2 so instead of y we have to replace uh, 2 so value of p of y when y is equal to 2 is p of 2 right so we will write the polynomial so p of y is equal to y square minus y plus 1 so we have to replace this y by 2 so p of 2 is equal to so instead of y we have to replace 2 so 2 whole square minus instead of y again 2 plus 1 so p of 2 is equal to 2 square is 4 minus it has plus inside minus into plus is minus 2 plus 1 so p of 2 is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 is 5 minus 2 so p of 2 is 5 minus 2 is 3 so the value of the polynomial p of y when y is equal to 2 is 3 so this is how you have to understand that right i hope you are enjoying the problems okay we will move on to the next problem
for the same question we will take up another uh, separate equation of t is equal to 2 plus t plus 2t square minus t cube. So, uh, it is a cubic polynomial important. So, for this polynomial we have to find out p of 0, for the same polynomial we have to find out p of 1, for the same polynomial we have to find out p of 2. Very important, right? Okay. Let us start. So now, value of P of T. So why they have written T here? Because inside this polynomial, the variable used is T. Therefore, it is P of T. That's all. If it is P of X, variable used will be X. If it is P of Y, variable used will be Y. That's all. Nothing uh, uh, bigger than that. So, value of P of T when T is equal to, we have to substitute 0 right is p of 0 so value of p of t when when t is equal to 0 is p of 0 so let us take the polynomial p of t is equal to 2 plus t plus 2 t square minus t cube so p of t instead of t we have to substitute 0 okay p of 0 is equal to 2 plus 2 is a constant instead of t we have to replace 0 plus 2 into instead of t again 0 square minus instead of t again 0 cube. So p of 0 is equal to 2 plus 0 plus 0 square is 0, 2 into 0 is 0 minus 0 cube. 0 cube in the sense 0 multiplied 3 times. 0 into 0 into 0 multiplied any number of times is 0. So 3 times is also 0. So p of 0 is equal to 2 plus 0 plus 0 minus 0. So, when you add a number to 0 or subtract a number to 0, the number remains. So, P of 0 is 2. So, this is the value. So, the value of P of t when P of, when t is equal to 0 is 2. That is that's how we have to mention. Right? So, let us get to the second problem. So, here we will uh, we'll have to find out P of 1. So, value of Value of P of 1 when T is equal to 1 is uh, P of 1. So the value of uh, P of T, sorry, the value of P of T when T is equal to 1 is P of 1. So let us take the polynomial. So P of T is equal to 2 plus T plus 2 T square minus T cube. So very simple, so instead of t we have to substitute 1, so ok we will do it, instead of t 1 I have substituted, so 2 plus instead of t again 1 plus 2, 2 t square is there, so instead of t it is 1 we have to substitute, so that becomes 1 square minus, instead of t we have to substitute 1, so that becomes 1 cube. So p of 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 1 square is 1, 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 cube is 1. So P of 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, that becomes 5 minus 1. So P of 1 is, 5 minus 1 is 4. So the value of P of 1 is 4. So the value of P of t when t is equal to 1 is 4. That is how we have to read it. Right? So let us go into the third one. So third one is uh, P of 2 we have to find out. So let us take this. So value of P of t when t is equal to, we have to substitute 2 here. So t, t is equal to 2 is P of 2. So therefore we will write the polynomial P of t is equal to 2 plus t plus 2t square minus t cube. So instead of t we have to substitute 2. So P of 2 is equal to 2 plus t is 2 again plus 2 into t is 
2 again. So it is 2 square minus t is 2 again. That becomes 2 cube. Okay. So p of 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 plus. Okay. This 2. 2 square is 4. 4 into 2 is 8 minus 2 cube. 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2. 2 2 is 4. 4 2 is 8. Very simple. So it is minus 8. So p of 2 is equal to. So your mind is telling to cancel these two. Shall I cancel or not? Yes, you can cancel that. Plus 8 and minus 8 gets cancelled. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So how to read this? Very important. Just putting the values, simplifying that, getting to the solution is not a big thing. You should also learn how to read it. So the value of the polynomial p of t when t is equal to 2 is 4. The value of the polynomial p of t when t is equal to 2 is 4. This is how you have to read it. Right? So, so this is the problem that is getting to the third polynomial. Okay, third polynomial is very looking very simple. So p of x is x cube. P of x is x cube. Okay, let us get into this. So value of p of x when x is equal to we have to substitute 0, 0 is p of 0. Right? So p of x is equal to x cube. So p of instead of x you have to substitute 0. p of 0 is 0 whole cube. So therefore p of 0 is 0, 0 cube is 0 into 0 into 0 is again 0. So p of 0 is 0. Right. So let us get to the third or second one. So value of p of x 1. We have to find out p of 1, so therefore when x is equal to 1 is p of 1. So p of x is, we know that it is x cube, so instead of x you have to substitute 1, so p of 1 is 1 cube, so p of 1 is 1 cube is 1, that is 1 into 1 into 1. Don't take it as 1 plus 1 plus 1, it is 1 into 1 into 1, right. So let us get into the third one, value of p of x 1, we have to find out uh, p of 2, so therefore when x is equal to 2 is p of 2, right. So p of x is uh, x cube, so instead of x you have to substitute 2, so p of 2 is equal to 2 cube, so p of 2 is equal to 2 cube is 8, so because it is 2 into 2 into 2, that is 2 to the 4, 2 to the 8. So P of 2 is 8. Okay. So this is the solution for this. Right. Okay. Let us get into the fourth polynomial. is equal to x plus 1 into x minus 1. So this is the given polynomial. So this polynomial what it is given is not in the standard form. Right? It's not in the standard form. It's a binomial. It's a binomial. We have to convert this into a standard form and then we have to proceed with the problem. Right? So p of x is equal to it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. I hope you remember the formula in your uh, H standard class. 
a plus b into a minus b can be written as yes a square minus b square right so it is it can be written as x whole square minus 1 whole square so p of x is equal to x square minus 1 so this is the required polynomial right so now for this polynomial we have to find out p of 0 for this polynomial we have to find out p of 1 for this polynomial we have to find out p of 2 so that's very easy now let us go to the first one so value of p of x when x is equal to 0 is p of 0 so therefore write the polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus 1 so instead of x you have to substitute a 0 so p of 0 is equal to 0 square because we have x we are replace 0 minus 1 so p of 0 is 0 square is 0 minus 1 so p of 0 is whether it is plus 1 or minus 1 0 minus 1 is the same thing minus 1 so how to read this the value of the polynomial p of x when x is equal to 0 is minus 1 that is how we have to read it so let us get into the second one so we have to find out p of 1 so value of p of x when x is equal to 1 is p of 1 so let us take the polynomial p of x is equal to it's ready here so it is x square minus 1 so instead of x you have to substitute 1 p of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 1 so p of 1 is equal to 1 square is 1 minus 1 so p of 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 is 0 right ok let us get into the third one we have to find out uh, p of 2 so value of p of x when x is equal to 2 is p of 2 ok let us do it so let us take the polynomial so p of x is equal to x square minus 1 so instead of x you have to substitute 2 here so p of 2 is equal to 2 square minus 1 because instead of x I have substituted 2 here so p of 2 is equal to 2 square is 4 minus 1 so p of 2 is equal to 3 so how to read this the value of the polynomial p of x when x is equal to 2 is 3 is how you have to read this polynomial right so now I am going to give you a homework today you have to, you have to solve this and send it to me through the whatsapp group where you are included right so if p of x is equal to x cube minus 2x square plus 3x plus 11 find first one p of 0 second one p of minus 1 third one p of minus 2 fourth one p of 3 fifth one p of Shall I, shall I, shall I, will you try a new one? P of 2 by 3. I don't know how we are going to do. I wish you all the best for this. So P of minus 5 and 7th one P of right minus 1 by 3. Right. Solve this and send it to me through WhatsApp. Right. I hope you enjoyed the entire session. Oh, I hope all the problems are easy. In the next session also, you are going to come across very easy problems. If you have any doubts regarding the polynomials, call me, call to my number, speak to me and clear your doubts or you can send it through WhatsApp also. Right? So at the end of the week, get ready for a test on this topic. It's very important. Right? I will tell you in the coming sessions how to write a test and get ready for your academics right so until then stay home stay safe and keep learning thank you